Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to Postman Beginners Tutorial. This is our lesson 6 on global variables. Basically, it's a continuation of my previous lesson, lesson 5. So in lesson 5, I have taught you how can we create variables at collection level and then how can you use that variable while sending a request. So this session is a part 2 of my lesson 5 which is lesson 6 and I'm gonna teach you some advanced concepts of global variables. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on these concepts. Thank you. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how can we create a variable and how can we store the rest response into a variable. So whenever you send a request, you are going to get the response. So we are going to store the entire response into a variable. And then how can you set global variable to store the required response JSON path? And how can you pass the variable into a request message? So whatever the variable, I mean, whatever the JSON path you stored in the above step. So how can you use that global variable while sending a next request message? And then validate the results. So it's very, very important concept. Let's jump out of the system and see how can we perform all these actions. So this is my Postman tool, okay? So in my previous session, we have created a collection called collection3 and we have created a variable at collection level. The variable called URL and we stored the common URL that we are using in both the API request messages, right? And then we stored that URL and then we are referring that collection level variable into a request URL, right? For these two request messages, okay? So that we have learned. So now in this lesson, let's create some global variables for that. So if you see my first request is to get the list of all users. So let's execute this. I'm getting the list of all users here. And my second request message is to get a single user detail okay based on the id that i am providing in the url i want to retrieve a user with id 2 i want to retrieve a user details with id 3 right so now here the our aim is let's assume i I'm getting the list of users. If you see, I am I'm getting the users with ID 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? Now, I want to store the entire response and then I want to pick up the ID of my first user, which is ID 7. Right, I want to store this ID 7 into a global variable and pass this ID global variable value into my next request message URL. Instead of 3, I want to send the value that I am storing in the global variable of this JSON path. So how can we do that? Okay. So now, first of all, let's go to my first test. I'm sending a request. So here in this test, sorry, in this request message, I want to, so let me just say previous ones. So here, if I open this request, I can see I'm sending my request here. So here in the body, so let me just expand this, okay? Let me expand this one. 
so here under tests if you navigate to tests see as i told you earlier every request rest request message will have a parameters authorization header body so i would recommend you guys to visit my uh, previous sessions to understand all these options so now i want to open tests here i'm going to create a variable called json data equal to pm which is my postman dot response dot json that means what i am doing i am i want to store the entire response into a variable called json data once i store this now i want to create a global variable pm dot postman dot globals dot set i want to set a global variable called see if you see as soon as i enter here it is asking me to enter the key string and then the value i want to store i want to create a global variable called id and what is the value that i want to store i want to store the value of i want to store a value of id this is my json path correct so how can i get the json path of this id simple you copy this response go to chrome browser json path finder just type json path finder so this is json path finder dot com open this and paste the response here entire response and open this this is my first element this is my second user right i want to capture the first user id that for that click on this first user id and here if you see the path this is my path if i click on email this is my path if i click on my second user email data 1 this is my data 0 right so now i want an xpath of this particular id so copy this json path and now go back to your postman tool here what is the value of your id this one so my value is actually a json path what is that take the response what is the response i am storing the entire response in json data dot what is the json path this is my json path that means from the response from entire response i want to capture the json path this particular json path i don't want entire response but i want a particular json path called id so that's what i am storing here that means now save this if you go to environment environments earlier i explained you and go to globals if you see i don't have any variable here now i am setting the variable in test called id i am i am storing that i am storing the, this json path into a variable called id global variable called id okay save this so now whenever i run this particular whenever i run this particular request your test is also going to run and then your json response will be stored here and then it's going to set a variable called global variable called id and it's going to store the value from this particular json path whatever the value currently it is 7 it's going to store that value here where in global id variable okay so now let's send this again so as soon as i send now your global variable called id is created and the value is this one allocated here how to know that let's go back to your environment variables click on globals so let me just 
refresh okay let me close this okay let me run this again okay let me run this again i run this again go back to globals if you see here i can see id id global variable called id is created and my current value is 7 that means if you see here my current value is 7 let's assume i want to change this as 1 so this time when i run this this time id should be 8 send this if you see here go to your environment variables global see this time it's 8 let's assume i want to capture the email instead of id email copy this instead of id just name this as email save this now when i send this under id your email will be stored go back to your environment globals see under id your email is stored but we need id only so i am storing the id first user which is zero save this and send it again now if you go to globals now your id is seven so that means i am storing a json path into a global variable required json path into a global variable now in in the next api request message what we are doing we are sending a user details right basically we are getting a particular user detail here i am entering three instead of three i want to call this particular variable here so i'm gonna replace this hard coded value with the variable how variable in generally you need to enter two curly braces as soon as you enter two curly braces it's going to give you your variables so this is my global variable just select this that's it and save this now when i execute this this time it should give me the details of my user 7 seventh user correct so now let's go back here and now execute this see now id is 7 and my details are these now let's assume i want to store another id i'll do one thing i'm going to store this as id 1 right now i want to store second user id as well id 1 id 2 here this is my 1 data 1 that means it's going to store under global variable id 1 it's going to store 7 id2 it's going to store 8 so before that let's remove my previous global variables delete this global variable now let's run this send it it sent and two global variables gets created and 7 and 8 values should be stored so let's go to globals now if you see here oh sorry i want to save this let's run this again okay because there is a conflict i did not saved so let's run my previous here this is my test right let's run this again so now if you open your globals if you open your globals it should create two see id1 and id2 values 7 and 2 so now here in my i want to duplicate this one I want to duplicate this one right click duplicate and this time here instead of id because we deleted id we created id1 and id2 id2 that's it these two are valid now save this save this so now let's run all three together first one we are storing id 1 and 2 and then second one id 1 we are sending in third one that means id 1 user details third one id 2 user details that means seventh user eighth user id 8 user okay now let's run all these together close everything close everything so now run this collection in earlier session i already told you how to run the collections okay so you can visit my previous video
select this cell collection and then click on run as soon as you click on run so first it's going to execute first one and then it's going to store two variables id1 and id2 and those two variables we are sending in next request messages sequentially and run this collection see you are successfully run this is successfully run and this is successfully run okay so that means we are successfully able to create your global variables i am able to set the global variables from the script whenever i send a request message and then i'm going i'm able to store my json path values into those global variables and i am able to send those global variables in my next request messages hope you all understand so this is a this is really really very important concept guys so in the organizations in the corporate world we have to store the response messages into variables and you have to use them in the next request messages right it's very important while automating your test cases okay so if you have any queries please provide your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you